Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to our live uh, daily market outlook. Uh, we're at the beginning of new week. Uh, today is uh, Monday, 27th of August, uh, 2012. Uh, we are approaching the end of uh, month of August. That was uh, rather calm uh, regarding uh, trading, with of course uh, uh, some news uh, from time to time uh, shaking uh, the markets. But uh, I would say the main uh, movements are still to come as uh, September brings us. Uh, ECB and the Federal Reserve meetings that are going to be the basically key events and they will uh, bring and uh, put some more lights into the current uh, market uh, uh, conditions and uh, likely give some uh, fresh uh, directions. Of course, the focus of uh, the past week and the, the weekend was uh, meeting uh, within the, between the Greek uh, President uh, Samaras and the, first of all the European uh, Paymaster uh, Angela Merkel as well as uh, Sunday's meeting with the uh, French uh, President uh, François Hollande, with the Merkel uh, giving uh, quite a strong support uh, to uh, Greece as uh, so-called the Grexit uh, scenario of Greece leaving the Eurozone is uh, not uh, likely and uh, slightly out of agenda. The Merkel tried to calm a uh, <clears throat> growing storm over Eurozone crisis uh, strategy on their Sunday's meeting after the uh, Bundesbank uh, likened the ECB bond buying uh, plans uh, to a dangerous uh, drug and conservative uh, ally of uh, German leader said Greece uh, should leave the currency bloc by next year. Basically the comments uh, from analysts uh, saying that uh, Merkel is now uh, dancing on a very thin uh, rope uh, as she is still uh, quite supportive for uh, Greek, uh, Greece uh, staying in the Eurozone of course with a strong opposition uh, uh, for uh, these things, even in the Germany. The comments uh, from uh, Bundesbank uh, chief uh, Jens Widman uh, and the senior uh, figure in the Bavarian uh, uh, Christian Social Union uh, uh, point uh, to mounting unease in the Germany with the policies being used uh, currently to combat the three-year-old uh, debt uh, crisis. The domestic uh, criticism has narrowed uh, Merkel's room for uh, maneuver at a time when Greece is in dire need of more aid and the policy makers are scrambling to prevent contagion from enveloping big countries like Spain and Italy that are basically the next targets and two days after the Greek Prime Minister Antonis Samaras visited Berlin and made an impassioned plea for politicians there not to talk up the possibility of a Greek uh, Euro exit. Uh, Merkel herself uh, sent a warning to allies who have said uh, the Eurozone uh, would uh, be better uh, off uh, without its uh, weakest uh, link. The Merkel uh, said we are in a very decisive phase and the uh, phase and the combating the Euro debt uh, crisis uh, and her plea is that everyone uh, weigh their uh, words uh, very carefully. As uh, shown the Merkel is still uh, quite uh, uh, supportive for uh, Greece and they most likely will be giving uh, some uh, more space. Uh, they were negotiating about two, three years uh, extension of the uh, aid. Uh, of course uh, that uh, austerity plan uh, already agreed uh, uh, terms and the measurements uh, should be strictly uh, followed. Across the ocean uh, another important uh, thing uh, is uh, the, uh, approaching the Fed's uh, meeting in Jackson Hole uh, to see whether Federal <coughs> pardon, Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke <coughs> fuels or dampens hopes of uh, fresh monetary easing uh, to lift uh, the U.S. Uh, economy. The annual uh, meeting uh, uh, retreat uh, hosted by us at uh, Kansas uh, City Jackson Hole, Fed has become a highlight of the global uh, central banking calendar. As mentioned at the beginning, these two things are uh, the most important as Fed as pardon, ECB is also um, I'm mentioning a possibility of uh, further lowering the interest, interest rates. Expectations uh, for this year have not soared uh, to the heights of uh, 2010 or 2011, but equity and the commodity prices have been rising and uh, could uh, react badly if the U.S. Central Bank chief uh, uh, pulls his uh, punches. Uh, the hints that uh, were given uh, during the past week from Fed uh, for possible uh, Q3 easing actually were quite uh, uh, the triggering quite uh, good reactions in the market, but still uh, it's uh, unclear whether the Bernanke will uh, decide uh, to continue the uh, bond buying, uh, which was also um, quoted uh, by European uh, officials as uh, 
uh, printing money like uh, newspapers, but it seems that uh, currently this uh, uh, is the only one uh, workable uh, solution to give some boost to the weakening uh, U.S. economy as well as uh, most of the world's uh, economies in order to move up, uh, move out of the current uh, limbo that uh, uh, most of the world leading economies are in uh, due to the crisis that started, of course, from 2008. Uh, again, uh, I think it speaks in the year 2012. Uh, due to Greek, uh, pardon, due to UK summer bank holiday, we'll, we might see some uh, uh, thinner markets and uh, less uh, volumes in the markets during the morning hours. However, uh, today's uh, Eurozone uh, calendar uh, shows uh, quite important releases from uh, Germany. IFO uh, data are due at uh, 8 o'clock uh, GMT business climate uh, for August is seen slightly lower from 103.3 release in uh, July uh, with today's consensus at uh, 102.7 uh, and of course IFO expectations uh, for August are also seen slightly lower 95 uh, is uh, forecast for the month of August compared to 95.6 uh, uh, in uh, July the uh, import prices uh, from uh, Germany on a monthly basis uh, for July have already been released. Uh, I do apologize, I should have mentioned this first. Uh, slightly below the expectations of 0.9%, 0.7% uh, is today's release, but uh, better uh, than uh, June's release at minus 1.5%, while uh, yearly release came at 1.2%. Uh, uh, lower than expectations of 1.4% and the uh, previous release at 1.3%. Uh, across the ocean, uh, uh, only Dallas uh, Fed manufacturing uh, business index is uh, due from United States at uh, 1430 uh, GMT. Uh, better than the previous uh, release of minus 13.2 is uh, forecasted for today at minus 8. And uh, <coughs> as a uh, group of uh, speakers uh, seen at 10 o'clock, uh, GMT is the Fed's uh, uh, Evans uh, due to have a speech and the uh, ECB's official Asmussen is due at 1600 GMT while the FOMC member Sandra Pianalto is due at uh, 1615 GMT and that was all from today's events. Usually Mondays are uh, uh, known uh, with the thinner uh, uh, calendars as the week uh, comes into the middle and towards the end uh, the calendars are getting uh, bigger and bigger. Uh, we are going to move now to our technical uh, part and uh, see the latest uh, movements and, of course, the expectations uh, for uh, the major currencies and commodities. Uh, the euro is off its uh, peak of uh, last week at 125.88, uh, uh, moving uh, in the narrow range since the uh, market opening uh, last night in Asia, around the uh, 125 level. This is the latest uh, range as the market opened at uh, 125 11 and uh, basically 125 22 124 89 was the range we're talking about uh, 20 30 pips uh, movements uh, as said also uh, as the uk is out of uh, the market today some uh, lower uh, volumes uh, would be seen uh, still a negative uh, tone on the near narrow time frame uh, narrower time frames uh, one hour chart uh, still sees some more downside pressure as uh, uh, most of the studies are uh, below their midlines and the mark and the current uh, market price is still holding below the uh, moving averages uh, with the 50, uh, 20 days uh, one uh, uh, crossing below uh, 55 days one uh, at uh, levels around 125.15 uh, giving addition initial uh, resistance at this point I would say lift above uh, 125.60 would be required to confirm the higher low at uh, 124.81 posted uh, last Friday and the uh, open way for a fresh extension towards a uh, possible extension towards uh, 126 that is uh, basically our initial target and the uh, 126.50 uh, uh, as uh, shown on the hourly on the four hour chart uh, 20 days exponential moving average has so far uh, contained the uh, dips but uh, uh, quite negative uh, studies all pointing a uh, lower C potential uh, and C risk of uh, further easing of uh, further corrective action of the latest uplink from uh, 122.54 to 125.88 with the immediate uh, target uh, 124.86 being tested so far and then Fibonacci level at 124.60 CN as the next uh, uh, along with the previous uh, peaks at uh, 124.40 comes the next uh, uh, support uh, reinforced by uh, 
pardon, 124, uh, 40, uh, reinforced by ascending 55 days, uh, moving uh, average, and uh, close to it, we have 50% retracement. Ideally, any deeper uh, dips uh, should uh, be contained around these uh, levels in order to keep the near-term positive uh, structure of uh, the latest higher low at 122.54 in play. A larger picture is uh, still showing uh, uh, some positive uh, tone, but uh, weakening uh, uh, studies due to upside uh, rejection at uh, 125.88, where descending 90 days, uh, moving average capped uh, the upside uh, for now. I uh, see quite a uh, big uh, uh, <clears throat> pardon barrier at uh, this point. This is also reinforced by 38.2% uh, retracement of the larger 137, uh, pardon, 134.85 to 120.42 ascend and uh, basically, we need to see the clear break above uh, 126 in order to resume this uh, short-term recovery of uh, 12042. Uh, risk on the larger picture is seen on a loss of uh, 12440, 124, uh, where is also the 55 days uh, moving average that will uh, further weaken the structure and increase risk of a uh, lower top as the pair is, uh, lar pair's larger picture still shows uh, uh, strong and unobstructed uh, bearish uh, uh, structure and bearish movements of uh, 134.85 peak of uh, 29th of uh, February 2012. Lift above uh, 127 uh, level uh, would improve the current structure and uh, <clears throat> we have the next uh, static barrier at uh, 127.45, 50% replacement at 127.63, a break of which is to confirm the uh, base and uh, possibly open weight towards uh, 200 days moving average at 128.73. This is uh, for now a bit out of uh, reach, but uh, in case of uh, a further scenario of uh, extension uh, upside, as uh, some positive tones uh, we mentioned at the beginning are coming from the uh, Eurozone uh, top uh, officials, uh, uh, the Euro might enjoy some uh, further uh, supports and uh, uh, see some uh, stronger uh, recovery of its uh, recent uh, low at 120.42 post and end of uh, July 2012. And the uh, British pound is in the corrective uh, mode of its uh, recent uh, peak at uh, 159.11 posted uh, last week uh, with approximately 23.6% uh, retracement of the uplink from uh, one uh, 54.89 to 159.11 as seen so far. Hourly structure is still in rather negative tone with the immediate barrier so far capping 20 days exponential moving average at 158.18. 158 zone basically for now offers as a round figure and psychological support offers support but slightly higher opening during a the Asian uh, session hasn't seen uh, much of the action as the pair dipped again down to the levels of uh, 158 uh, zone. Uh, for our uh, picture also brings us uh, more negative tone and uh, sees uh, more pressure towards uh, the downside, basically looking for further uh, re retracement of the latest uh, 154.89 to 159.11 up move with uh, quite uh, strong uh, uh, supports uh, seen at uh, 157.66.76, these are the previous uh, range uh, tops ahead of, uh, uh, it's also reinforced by 20, uh, 55 days, pardon, exponential uh, uh, moving average uh, within uh, also 30, close to 38.2% uh, retracement. Ideally, uh, reversal should uh, be seen at or above these uh, levels uh, with the trend line support at 157.32 uh, seen as a uh, a break point as a loss of the trend line might be a signal and trigger for a deeper reversal. 157 is the 50% retracement, loss of which is to keep the 159 zone out of reach in the short term and they allow for some deeper reversal. On the daily picture, the situation is still holding positive elements. However, a signal shown on the stochastics that already turned the Lower might be uh, signaling uh, some uh, deeper uh, corrective action uh, despite the pair uh, broke some very important uh, levels, uh, previous uh, range as well as uh, 20, 200 days uh, moving average with the 61.8% retracement of the broader uh, 163 to 152.67 down move. Uh, so, so far capping uh, the upside break above uh, one. Uh, 
159 clear break above 159 is to resume the latest uh, leg higher that was uh, uh, triggered from uh, 156 uh, 157 uh, zone and uh, uh, will signal a stronger uh, recovery and further retracement otherwise uh, a risk would be seen on the revisiting the 156 uh, 57 76 uh, 66 and the uh, 157 15 uh, 200 days moving average and as said uh, loss of uh, 157 would be quite risky in the short term uh, outlook for the cable <clears throat> the dollar yen is uh, slightly uh, turned the uh, higher of its recent lows at 78.27 uh, when the pair nearly fully retraced the latest up leg of 78.15 uh, uh, base that peaked at uh, 79.65 with the uh, acceleration of uh, uh, bears seen on the last week's uh, uh, Fed's uh, FOMC minutes uh, triggering the uh, strong uh, fresh dollars, dollars weakness and the dipping so far to 78.27. A recovery attempt uh, so far uh, being kept uh, around 38.2% uh, retracement at 78.80, uh, keeping, uh, as we mentioned in our previous uh, session, 79 as a, a trigger uh, for further extension higher, keeping it intact uh, uh, with the 20 days exponential moving average. Uh, more or less keeping the upside uh, limited ahead of uh, 55 days, one at uh, 78.86. As mentioned, the break above uh, 79.12 will also mark 61.8% retracement is required to uh, turn focus again towards the upside uh, uh, targets. Uh, initial one at uh, 79.52 and the main one at 79.65. That will open way uh, towards 80.00. That was our initial uh, upside the target uh, failure to uh, clear 79.00 sees risk of a lower top and possible further extension lower as uh, the four hour uh, studies are still in the negative uh, uh, territory and still see the, ups, uh, the downside uh, more favored on the daily chart uh, attempt above uh, midlines uh, for some uh, uh, indicators uh, sees uh, potential especially that uh, pairs uh, uh, deep uh, show the f uh, false break below the already broken uh, main bear trend line of 84.08 uh, that is now acting as support at around 78.35 uh, with the clearance of uh, previous uh, uh, range uh, tops uh, seen uh, briefly tested uh, so far 78.80 zone uh, opening weight towards uh, 55 days uh, exponent, uh, simple moving average at uh, 79 so we have 79 as uh, quite uh, a strong barrier uh, along with 79.27 uh, 200 days uh, moving average uh, again uh, as said b clear break above uh, 79 uh, would be signal for a uh, uh, turning focus towards the upside uh, target 79.65 uh, seen next uh, opposite uh, scenarios is risk of a break uh, below the trend line support currently at 78.28 uh, that will bring a immediate uh, risk uh, towards the downside base at uh, 78.15 and 78.00 and the recent uh, downtrend low at uh, 77.65 posted on 1st of uh, June uh, 2012. <clears throat> and the last of the major uh, dollar Swiss is uh, similar uh, to dollar yen in the uh, near term recovery mode of uh, 95.37 last uh, week's uh, low with the uh, uh, so far uh, 96.20 since so far where the a pair was capped and the, uh, some congestion is seen at uh, this uh, point uh, with 90, uh, hovering around 96 zone with the uh, 20 days exponential moving average that is currently moving uh, sideways uh, limiting uh, uh, the upside there for now. Next uh, static barrier 96.41 is 38.2% uh, uh, as the hourly studies are pointing uh, higher although still holding below their midlines uh, see potential for further uh, recovery according to the technical outlook uh, above 96.40 another important uh, static barrier 96.58 the lower top of uh, 22nd of uh, August reinforced by uh, still descending uh, 55 days exponential moving average and basically a break above these levels is uh, to confirm the uh, temporary bottom at 95.37 an open way for a, a possible stronger recovery uh, on the larger picture, we still see the pair in the stronger downtrend of uh, 9970, 24th of uh, July peak, uh, with the 90 days uh, ascending, 90 days moving average in the daily chart uh, so far, uh, uh, containing uh, dips ahead of uh, important uh, 95 zone, where it's 50% uh, uh, retracement and around figure and psychological support, as well as uh, 
higher lows at uh, 9461 and uh, 9420 that uh, are still uh, seen as our next uh, downside target in case of uh, gains uh, fail to uh, clear at least uh, 97 uh, where is uh, 9718 is the uh, main bear trend line of uh, 9970 with the uh, that cross scene of uh, 20 days uh, moving average now attempting uh, uh, below 55 days uh, moving average putting additional uh, pressure immediate uh, barrier seen at uh, 96 uh, 56 previous uh, uh, lows and the uh, 9700 and basically only break above 9700 would provide relief otherwise uh, a likely scenario would be lower top and a fresh uh, extension of the uh, short term uh, downtrend from 9970 as studies also on the daily chart are in the negative uh, territory and see more uh, the, see the downside uh, vulnerable for now. The crude oil is uh, again uh, benefiting as, uh, as uh, hurricane season in the United States uh, starts and uh, uh, recent gains with the uh, today's gap higher opening have so far seen 9770 of its last Friday's low at 95.39. Basically, the oil gained over one dollar in the during the Asian session, with some easing seen uh, at the beginning, at uh, close to the end of Asian session and the beginning of uh, European session. Uh, still positive tone seen on the uh, hourly chart uh, with the uh, op uh, days low at 96.43 as seen as a trigger. Uh, uh, for further weakness and uh, ideally uh, l uh, reversal around the 96, uh, uh, 60, 96, 50 zone uh, seen for a further uh, uh, rally. As said, uh, the hurricane season now is threatening a closing of a uh, number of uh, uh, refineries in the south of the uh, United States and basically this is uh, one of the main uh, drivers. Uh, uh, during these uh, past uh, few days, along with uh, our standard uh, things, uh, crisis Middle East and the uh, uh, Persian Gulf, as well as uh, uh, North Sea uh, North Sea production production uh, plants uh, being under uh, maintenance that reduce the production, as well as uh, sweet crude oil. Also, the Brent uh, spiked above 115 on the recent uh, fears of the hurricane, uh, with the uh, Hourly studies are still being positive for uh, our structure is uh, slightly losing attraction. It's uh, in the positive to neutral mode at uh, this point uh, as uh, uh, we need to see a regain of uh, 198.27 uh, uh, last week's peak in order to uh, resume the current uh, rally. But uh, a supportive uh, a movement, a supportive uh, point is uh, that. Uh, the oil price found the ground at 95.39 where the 55 days exponential moving average contained the downside and the lift above the other one 20 days one sees potential of further extension as the strong uptrend established of recent higher low at 86.91 posted at the beginning of August sees potential for further extension higher that was much better shown on the daily chart where the pair is where the oil price is currently struggling to clear an uh, important barrier 200 days uh, moving average. Uh, a bit uh, extended uh, studies on the uh, daily chart, uh, again, uh, see risk of uh, some uh, uh, stronger easing and stronger uh, corrective action uh, with the uh, previous peak at uh, 93.22 and 93 zone seen as a quite uh, good support uh, in order of any stronger dips uh, to contain uh, this uh, reversal. As uh, mentioned in our previous session, uh, uh, fundamentally, oil is uh, quite uh, well supported with the current uh, uh, political and the other uh, natural, I would call them, uh, uh, events that are keeping the price uh, well supported. And uh, according to the current uh, technical outlook and the current uh, situation uh, in the world, uh, most likely that uh, a revisit of $100 per barrel would be the quite uh, likely scenario. Of course, this is uh, quite... Uh, strong barrier and first we need to see the clearance of uh, 200 days moving average that uh, so far showed uh, a brief uh, false breaks. Uh, I would say today said uh, close above uh, this level which is uh, 96.75 would be quite supportive in the near term uh, price action. From the other side of course in case of any uh, failures 200 the current uh, crisis uh, in the world that is of course uh, threatening uh, for uh, uh, 
further uh, lowering the uh, demand of uh, for the oil uh, might be the uh, opposite factor that uh, would be pushing the oil prices uh, lower so far the opposite uh, ones that are uh, pushing the price higher are, are dominating and stronger and as we can see the oil price from the uh, end of uh, June is in strong rally from 77.27 um, moving uh, towards uh, our initial uh, target at $100 uh, per barrel and finally gold that is uh, has shown a very strong uh, weekly rally during the past week is uh, still in the uh, strong uptrend as uh, the latest uh, push uh, uh, on Friday hit the fresh high at uh, 16.76 uh, head of current uh, uh, corrective uh, action over quite over the overextended the uh, conditions on the four hour chart see risk of uh, uh, further uh, of uh, possible stronger uh, corrective action uh, but first we are going to take a look at the daily chart that uh, uh, shows uh, quite uh, promise, uh, uh, quite promising uh, elements as uh, the uh, oil, uh, pardon, the gold uh, moved above important 16.2040, uh, uh, but it cleared the 200 days moving average at 16.44 and uh, moved above 50% uh, uh, retracement as well as previous peak at 16.71. Uh, now the way is open uh, towards uh, uh, 16.89, uh, 16, uh, 1700 zone where we have the 61.8% retracement and the uh, uh, 1697 peak of uh, 27th of March as well as 1700 as uh, a round figure resistance and strong psychological barrier but overbought uh, conditions on the daily chart uh, might be warning uh, uh, for some uh, stronger uh, corrective action in this case I would say the previous uh, uh, top of previous uh, resistance zone at 1640 should uh, uh, serve as a uh, good support and should uh, contain by in any case should contain any uh, stronger uh, dips in order to uh, maintain this positive tone of course uh, uh, this uh, the coming uh, FOMC meeting coming Fed's meeting uh, in Jackson Hole uh, when decision about further uh, quantitative easing uh, to resume or not uh, would be the uh, the best indicator and the strongest uh, driver uh, for the currencies and for the gold and uh, uh, actually this uh, will be the trigger uh, to whether to extend its uh, current uh, strong uh, rally and the uh, uh, push towards uh, 1700 or it will be back into this uh, range uh, ascending range uh, that was stopped uh, by 70 as part of 1640 uh, I would say beginning of September will bring uh, some more light in the car current uh, market movements uh, back to the near term uh, as set uh, overextended conditions on the hourly and four hour chart and the developing of uh, 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 MACD uh, bullish uh, I cannot remember the word. I do apologize. Uh, a reversal might be signal for some uh, reversal with immediate uh, support being tested now of uh, uh, 20 days uh, moving average at uh, approximately 1670 uh, zone ahead of uh, a recent uh, consolidation uh, floor at uh, 1662 where is also the 55 days uh, uh, moving average uh, with the more significant uh, uh, higher low at uh, 1656. In any case, uh, uh, 1650 should uh, uh, be uh, the point where uh, the any stronger dips uh, should uh, reverse in order to keep the short term positive structure but as said uh, uh, MACD bullish divergence uh, showing here and the uh, quite overextended uh, conditions uh, see, pos uh, see potential of uh, some uh, stronger action as well as uh, for our chart that our studies are quite overbought uh, uh, we might see some uh, on today's uh, trading uh, sessions we might see some uh, a stronger corrective action as said uh, also the Fibonacci levels 23.6 is at around 1656 uh, uh, with the more important uh, 1643 uh, uh, this is the high of uh, 22nd of August 38.2 percent retracement and also uh, there we have the 200 days uh, moving average so ideally above this around 1650 as I said uh, any any stronger dip uh, should reverse in order to keep the a short term uh, positive structure in play otherwise a reversal below 1650 1640 uh, would delay immediate uh, bulls and uh, allow for some deeper uh, reversal of the yellow metals uh, price uh, that was all for today from me now you can ask your questions if you have any questions please you can submit them uh, in written now and uh, I will answer to you thank you
It seems that we have exhausted all uh, important uh, subjects at the beginning of the week. If no questions, uh, then again, I would like to thank you all for uh, attending and being with us. Uh, uh, invitation for tomorrow's session, same time at uh, 10 o'clock uh, local Cyprus time and uh, 7 o'clock uh, uh, GMT. Until then, I wish you, as always, a nice day and a very successful and a profitable trading. Good luck.